Nah, 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 nah. Hold up. Wait, 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 wait. Just wait one minute. So you telling me a token that's ran up over 10 million percent in the past 48 hours and it has a website that has more typos than the Mississippi Massachusetts third annual cotillion ball could be a scam? Nah, nah, nah. Can't be. In today's video, we're going to talk about i5 finance and I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks how to possibly spot a possible, possible DeFi rug pull. And also, if you guys are new here, which according to my views, most of you are, I'm Michael T. Raglan, your friendly neighborhood FUD fighter. And on this channel, we talk about all things crypto with a special focus on separating the FUD from the fiction. All right, guys, let's get right to it. This thing is up over 10 million percent in the past 48 hours, about 550 percent just in the past 24 hours alone. We're going to jump into coin market cap in a second, but what I want you guys to pay attention to in this video, I'm going to show you some telltale signs and what to look for on chain and through BSC Explorer or ETH Explorer when you see something that looks too good to be true. Let's get right down into it. All right, guys, here we are. We're having a quick look over at coin market cap. Keep in mind it's under iFi, E-I-F-I, but we're going to examine that in a second see exactly what happened. But as I said before, if we kind of look at the chart here, like if you look at the volume, we got 541.70% volume in the past 24 hours. Market caps pumped 32% up to 15 million, which in crypto terms isn't a huge deal. Like 15 million still like super, super micro cap. And it's showing that 32% and that's just in the past 24 hours, which just rolled over. But let's go a little bit deeper. Let's dig around and things are gonna get real interesting here in a second. So let's go down and let's look at everything and and look at this chart man like legit we're hanging out like <laughs> as of back in june you know point zero 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 and if we keep going keep going keep going even all the way up to a couple of days ago we still weren't doing anything at point zero zero one zero keep in mind around this time they started pumping the coin i'm uh, mentioning like the ico and the airdrops and getting people excited about it and the next thing you know is that they start talking about it more, saying they're going to go live on the 20th. It's only open to private, private, keep that in mind, private um, bidders right now. It's still only open to private bidders, not open to the 20th. And we had this massive run up yesterday, right? Which is insane. Like, let's look at this again. At its height, it pumped all the way up to almost 100 bucks. And that was just yesterday. And as you can see now, we know it's already over 100 so just some crazy crazy movement on the charts that we're seeing here right but that's not where it ends we're actually going to pivot and now we're going to take that deep dive and we're going to talk about where things get fishy because as of right now we're kind of looking at things that kind of sort of add up i'm already seeing a few red flags on coin market cap but let's dig a little bit deeper here guys all right so now we're over on airdrops.blog and this is where it all began so on june 14 2021 um they're talking about that they're going to actually end submissions for their airdrop this is posted on june the 8th by the way and it goes in and it's just talking about the airdrop the things you got to do how to fill out the form so on and so forth so so far still this stuff looks pretty typical pretty normal for any airdrop It's even posted on a somewhat reputable website right but let's go ahead and let's actually click the link right now where it says um, iFi Finance join here. So let's go ahead and click that and let's see where it takes us now. Oh sweet, so it loads up their website and I can see on my screen here that a lot of things have changed. Now it's EIFI, which yeah, okay, no big deal. It was EIFY before, now it's EIFI. But the main things I look for when I go to a website and I'm thinking about investing in any kind of token is that like who's on the team um what's it all about how can i find out more so on this website we kind of dig around okay yeah it's looking interesting and i start looking for things like typos and things like that english doesn't seem quite right but anyway let's go ahead and let's try to find out who's on the team here for um ifi let's go to meet ifi here so reading all this i've seen a couple typos in here already and now i see that the platform of management services is over one point one point uh, what does that even what does this even mean like i know i'm not great at math but uh is that one 
hundred I don't even know what it means right like that's a red flag look at the typo I don't see anything about the team um, when I look at what they're actually doing with the project I can't really find anything it's just a bunch of hyperbole and and randomness on the website so if I clicked on this website and seen it no matter what the games were looking like and it was running out already be like eh, 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 red flag scam alert scam alert scam alert but let's go ahead and dig a little bit deeper so another thing that you guys need to do when you're going in and you're looking at these runners right and we're we jump in and we say what was the biggest gain from the last 24 hours and we're trying to figure out how we should invest we need to actually look on the blockchain explorer since this one is a bep 20 token on the binance blockchain i need to try to find out the information from bsc scan so we jump over to bsc scan right now so the first thing i can see is okay eifi that's one of them but see i was looking at it before and i know that back during that airdrop i seen something that was e y f i so what is that what is that all about so if it's me i want to try to find that one on bsc scan so i've already pulled that one up for you guys so here is the one for e y f i right and if i go through this i'm like the main things i want to look at i want to see some transfers i have a look in here and i'm like all right cool i can see recent transfers some pretty big quantities moving around but nothing crazy but holders, like I want to see who's hodling this and who actually has the main percentage of it. Remember, EYFI is what it used to be called back when they did the airdrop. They've changed the name since, right? So I want to go in here and I want to look at this main thing right here. Okay, quantity. I know that it is a, supposed to be 150 million total supply of EYFI. And I can see that somebody's holding 104 in this wallet. And then that's a 69%. I'd never, ever, 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 ever want to see any wallet holding this big amount of anything that I'm thinking about investing in. So that's kind of scary already, especially because we got 83,000 addresses and the main liquidity is locked up in this one address here that I'm sure if I clicked on, I'd find out a little bit more about. Remember right now, we're just on the EYFI, the one from the airdrop back in June that had all of these people jump in on it right and try to get in on it before it went up during the airdrop and they went through the whole process and signed up but wait there's more we have eifi is what they're currently listed on corn market cap as right now this one is even scarier guys right we know that we would have been watching yesterday we seen that it mooned like damn near 10 million percent but as soon as i would have came over to bsc scan and looked at the blockchain explorer i'd have been like okay um go straight to holders let's have a look and i don't know if you guys can see that but let me zoom in and put this thing in 2020 vision wow so 149 million 99.9633 percent is in this one wallet right now right so we're super excited about it. it's on core market cap it's listed it's shot through the moon, baby. We're taking it up. We're going to all be millionaires, quadrillionaires. We're going to join Richard Branson on his spaceship. And kind of <laughs> but wait, this thing is a pump and dump, baby. Like, look at this. How easy it is to manipulate 2,052 addresses when I'm holding most of it, right? I can do whatever I want to play around with that price. So this is the nail in the coffin form. This lets me know that as soon as I saw these two different blockchain explorers, EE, EYFI and EIFI that is a straight up dirty 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 pump and dump the great thing that these blockchain explorers do is also have comments as well so if we go ahead and drive over to comments let's see what people are saying about it on social media hmm okay a bunch of nonsense they sell dreams or fees or this usual scam be careful hello guys yada 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 how do I withdraw to my trust wallet this is interesting right here i've seen a lot more of these on twitter about how do i actually get it back out um to my trust wallet <laughs> you can't get it out to your trust wallet that that's the main thing they don't want you to your trust wallet because remember the way that the all these wallets work is that if i would have bought it back over here when it was eyfi in my trust wallet or metamask or whatever but then they go behind the scenes and change it to eifi I'm locked in with this group of 83,000 people here that bought it in this wallet and I can't participate on any of the gains that we've seen 
of the past couple days in EIFI, right? So they locked in your money, took it and ran, and there's no way for you to move that money from EYFY over to EIFI. <laughs> they straight ripped you off and did an old rug pull on you with that way. Because if you notice, this big wallet here is where most of the people got hit. So this is the one where they did their airdrop on. And they put it up and said, all right, cool, guys, jump in, go through the process from airdrop from the um, airdrop.blog website. Cool. We got 83,000 people in here. Sweet. Let's go ahead and yoink, rip that rug under, off from underneath him, change the name, get people excited again, and run a whole nother airdrop for EIFI. And since we control, you know, most of this actual one, 99.963%, we can do whatever we want. We can make them go up 10 million percent if we want. We'll definitely get people to buy in then. And that is exactly what we're looking at right now. And the thing I wanna look at before we get out of here is just the comments on EYFI to see what they're saying. So jumping in right now and I go to EYFI, look at their comments. This is the original one here. Scam account, the money is already gone. <laughs> look at that off a cliff took your money and bounced like don't buy scam don't buy scam in telegram they blocked me i tried to cash out <laughs> 10 million percent of the profit of 24k to find out and i didn't get nothing i was devastated you know what i mean like just a straight straight scam scam alert even fake prices like on your trust wallet because they're stuck in there like it's just such a ripoff <laughs> jeez like 100 percent scam Ethernet scam now changed the name from EFI, not EYFI. But anyway, I don't think we have to go on any further for you guys to understand what exactly happened here. Just to recap, there's a, a token that was listed at EIFY back in June. They did an airdrop and everything, everything looked legit. And then they let everybody sign up for that airdrop, get all that liquidity in over 80,000 holders. And they went ahead, manipulated it, changed the name, ran it up since they controlled most of the um, most of the liquidity in with that token and ran away again with the money. I wouldn't be surprised tomorrow if they changed the name, changed one letter to get even more money, if they can trick more people to jump in on these pump and dumps. So the reason why I brought this one up, guys, like I'm not promoting um, iFi or whatever it's called in any way. I just want you guys to not get too excited when you jump in and you see all of these coins like running to the moon and your friends are like, hey, sign up for this one. It's going to the moon. You should really jump in. We all can be billionaires. Do your research. That wasn't hard. I looked at a blockchain explorer. I looked at some of the social media comments. Um, I jumped in and I looked at a few other things and it was straight away. I could tell it was a scam, right? One big thing is that if one wallet has a majority of the tokens, run away as fast and as far as you can anyway guys that is it for us today thanks for watching the video um be sure to check out any of these videos up here in the corner if you want to find out a little bit more about crypto or if you want to see my video from yesterday on clover finance which actually isn't a scan and had a respectable 250 percent run and they're actually a legit polka dot parachain play on getting cross chain compatibility for wallets in DeFi. So compare my video yesterday with the stuff we're seeing today and you can see what a real like runner looks like instead of this 10 million percent scam. Anyway guys, until next time, I'm out. This is your friendly neighborhood FUD fighter, Michael T. Raglan signing off. Peace.